Hi everybody, it's Christina from Crafty Paws. I wanted to share the napkin fold card with you today. Uh, it's one that I learned from Dawn5377 on here, YouTube. She does really great instructional videos. Um, and I'm doing this card for Stargirl Annie uh, WZ. Maybe it's Stargirl anyways, um, but anyway, it's Annie. <laughs> um, the card is relatively simple and you don't need too many materials. You need a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock. Um, you need a scoreboard, a bone folder, and some decorative paper. Not too much. Um, and I'm going to put all the dimensions of the pieces of paper that you'll need. Um, but I wanted to take you through the steps of creating it. Um, you'll see that I kind of cheated because I folded this one up before just so that I wouldn't miss any steps. Um, Anyway, so the first is you take your scoreboard and you fold, um, you create score lines and then fold at the three inch mark and the nine inch mark. You turn it and then you score again at the three inch mark and the nine inch mark. Then you take it off your scoreboard um, and you burnish all the sides that you just scored. Um, and then just for good measure, um, Dawn recommends flipping the paper over and scoring or burnishing all the folds again. I'm sorry, I'm not sure why this is, there we go. Um, got blurry there for a minute. Um, anyway, so now you have um, a piece of paper that has basically um, folds on top and bottom and both sides. Then what you do is you find the middle point of your piece of paper. So six inches, for a 12 by 12, you're doing six inches over and six inches down. You put a little dot with a pencil. Um, you're gonna have to cover it up later, so it could be a pen for that matter. Um, and you take each of the corners and you fold them in to that center mark. Um, and again, you burnish all your folds. You flip it over again. Um, sorry, it's not focusing so well. Um, let me see if I can fix that somehow. Um, there, hopefully that will stay focused. Sorry. Um, anyway, so then you have all the corners folded and all the sides folded. And for the, for the next step, you have it all opened out, and you go back to folding up, but this time you are folding so that the center triangle is what you're pushing in. And you're doing that for each of the sides so that you basically end up with, and then the last one is a little tricky, but again, you're fold, folding in the triangle in the middle and you'll end up with a smaller square. And again, you burnish all the corners really well. To the extent that things aren't folded exactly right, you'll see like I have a space in here a little bit. But when you put the decorative paper on everything, it looks great. Um, then the last fold is folding back the centers back to the outside corners. And then again, you're burnishing these folds as well. So that's your completed card. Now, the next step is getting the decorative papers and getting them to fit each of these little triangles and, and the center square. So for that, you need one five and a half inch square by five and a half inch square, and you need two five and a quarter squares. Um, and for the center piece, you need a five and three quarters inch square and then a smaller square for your center area that you can write a message or decorate more extravagantly kind of in the middle. Of course, now you have to remember because of the way it's folded, you can't have dimensional things here in the center because ultimately this is going to go in the center. Um, what you do with these squares is you basically take your cutter and you're cutting triangles. We've done this before on a different card. 
but <clears throat> of course this cutter is too small. <laughs> um, but basically, you take your slightly larger, five and a half by five and a half, and you cut this into four triangles. So you go down the center, and then you put the flat edge, the long edge, on the top. And you're lining this up so that you can make sure you get, again, an even triangle. You're doing it again. So from that larger five and a half square, you're getting four triangles. From the five and uh, quarter squares, you need to cut it so you get eight triangles from each of these squares. So you're slicing it in half. Not doing the best job here of cutting evenly, but I'm trying to do it quickly. You guys will take your time when you do this. Now remember, four is not enough. You have to double up now. So this is cutting down that square down to eight. Now, I don't want to belabor the point, but basically, that's the gist. Um, and then you're going through and you are gluing to, to fit the smaller triangles in the smaller sections and the larger four triangles in the larger sections in the middle. Um, and I'll do a part two of this video showing you the final results and how to do a little belly band. Okay, thanks for watching.